What's going on, folks? I uh, just want to do a quick video um, and talk to you about uh, Shabri Rawls. Apparently, um, Shabri Rawls, and make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Um, <clears throat> she was fired recently after her TikTok video went viral. Uh, she was uh, bashing black men, um, saying that they need to expand their emotional vocabulary. Um, you know, speaking on her clients, so to speak. And um, so what ended up happening, I'll give you guys a timeline. She made that video and went viral. And then there was a African-American woman uh, by the name of Aishika Harrison who created a blog uh, basically saying Black, Amer Black America's thoughts or response to, um, you know, Shabri's Rawls uh basically a condemnation of black men and and that kind of like got people really fascinated learning more about it and then uh you know days later uh she was uh uh Shabri Rawls uh, was fired by uh her uh, employer Pete uh his full name is in the description of this video uh, but yeah, uh, Pete, uh, who, who was a founder of Grow Well Cleveland LLC, uh, he uh, would have to be the one that had to let her go uh, and fire her from her, her position as being a therapist. Here are my things. Uh, so my, my thought towards, uh, you know, her statements initially, and, I, and I'll tell you what my thoughts now. Initially, I thought to myself, uh here is somebody that is a therapist. Of course, she, uh, you know, outside of work, you can have a TikTok, you can have a uh, social media presence, but you have to make sure it does not interfere uh, with your profession. It doesn't make your uh, profession or where you work uh, look look bad. Uh, is It isn't something that is um, defaming or slanderous to that organization and I, and I know she's probably saying to herself, well, I wasn't on the clock when I was doing that. But there's still, um, and I think they were saying it was the ACA code of ethics uh, that she violated. Uh, it was uh, discriminatory. Uh, she was specifically talking about uh, one group, one ethnicity of men. And um, it could honestly have endangered the confidentiality uh, that these men that have... Uh, you know, confided in her about their feelings or their emotions, uh, it could have uh, really uh, destroyed or tainted the relationship uh, that she had with those potential clients. So uh, the guy, Peter, who is the founder of uh, Grow Well Cleveland LLC, um, you know, let her go and she is no longer employed. One thing you have to understand, folks, and 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 I and I, I feel everyone has to understand this is just because you go viral, just because you're putting something out there that's getting a ton of views, doesn't mean that that is going to put money in your pocket, um, unless you leverage it in the right way so that you it leads to affiliate affiliate marketing or it leads to uh, monetization or something like that, but. I might have been thinking about that. I'm going a step further is the fact that she created a video and didn't have a friend or didn't have someone around her that she could just run it by in real time and say, no, that's that's not how to do it. Do do do. <clears throat> I'm not even saying do black men need to open up. That's an all man thing. Men need to open up. Um, but there are a lot of men that do open up and they open up um, and they open up, up uh, about their feelings, their emotions, and it gets mocked. It, you get the man up or you stop whining. And these men are articulating their feelings and relationships. They're articulating their feelings to their family members and friends. And it is just belittled. It is looked at as, why are you talking about that? I'm going through my own stuff, right? what some of these ladies are saying to these men and make these men just start bottling up. So she's coming across men that are actually going the step further to actually get help. And she was very insensitive. 
it was interesting how she talked about in her videos of these men need to hold themselves accountable. These black men need to hold themselves accountable in her words uh, of just need to just get their stuff together and need to expand the voc emotional vocabulary. But when she was uh, got backlash online for her statements, no accountability, no accountability. Um, and then blames, here's the kicker. She blames, um, you know, African-American men, um, blaming them for her getting fired when it was, um, Ashika Harrison, who was an African-American woman who wrote the article, um, that put her name out there in the atmosphere and potentially led to her losing her position and being fired by, um, uh, you know, Pete who is the uh, the founder and the, the leader of Grow Well Cleveland, LLC. So where in there did an uh, African-American fire you or get you fired? So that's something that we just have to understand that um, you'll get those likes online, you, you'll get the views, you'll get people celebrating you, championing you and saying uh, how great your statements are, but it, you're going you're gonna to have to, Deal with the consequence of what you say or the, get the rewards of what you say. And she got that temporary reward of going viral, but she ended up losing her means of employment. So I don't know how this is even going to affect her future future endeavors because of men not feeling uh, confident or, 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 or the need to come to someone like her from a therapy standpoint based off of the videos uh, that have been circulating, and, and it wasn't just this video that she put out. There's a ton of content on her page, uh, you know, with, with her saying these type of disparaging comments towards, uh, you know, men, specifically black men. So at the end of the day, you're still going to have a lot of women out there that that said that men are the reason why she got fired, uh, especially specifically black men. But it was Aishika Harrison who wrote the article um, and then it was also Pete, the, the founder of Grow Well Cleveland LLC, that fired her, but who really is responsible solely, in my opinion. It ain't even Ashika, it ain't even Pete. It is Shabri Rawls, the one that made these videos, because she should have been aware of her code of ethics. She was aware of what black men needed to do, or what they needed to be, or how they needed to expand the vocabulary, but wasn't aware of the code of ethics from a from a standpoint of an employee standpoint, and now she is without a means of employment. So, just let this be a lesson to a lot of you out there right now, um, men and women, that when if you're ever in a situation right now when you're putting stuff out there to the masses, putting your own viewpoints, your thoughts, if you are letting people know, let's say you work for an organization and you got the logo on your, your shirt, you're wearing their their um you know, the name tag and all that, that that goes along with that company and that company's name is on your shirt while you're saying that the, the disparaging comments about whoever it may be, you can lose your job, okay? And so you just have to make sure that, you know, she maybe she'd been better off just making her, her page private, even though these comments still, to me, um, they, they possibly still could have got out, but creating a private page, only having certain people on there uh, that that share those beliefs. But, you know, just to, to point fingers at one ethnicity, one body of people and say that they got to get their self together. There are a lot of people that need therapy. I actually think everyone needs therapy. Nothing's wrong with getting therapy. Um, I actually think Shabri Rawls, the, this uh, therapist that got fired, she needs therapy. She also needs training to uh, moving forward if she is going to interact with, uh, you know, this ethnicity of, 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 of men, uh, she has to make sure that she builds that trust again because without trust as a therapist, without trust, uh, your client will never open up to you. Your client will never uh, feel comfortable enough to dive deep into the things that they are, are dealing with or battling with on the inside. So, Got this big divide between African American men and, and, and African American women. We gotta understand that we're all in this. We're all in this together, um, and we just have to continuously uh, hold each other accountable, and not look at it like it's a versus. 
like it's us versus you or you versus us, but we're in this together and we can only grow as a unit. So, um, yeah, you guys are going to see that uh, Shabby Rawls, uh, that she is fired, um, but she got fired not by black men. Um, not even by Aishika Harrison, who's an African-American woman that wrote the article about her TikTok video. She got fired by Grow Well Cleveland LLC founder Pete. Uh, he was the one that fired her. So stop putting this on black men for this. And then as I close, um, um, Sharbri Rawls put out a video and said that there were black men that were calling in on her uh, trying to get her fired. How would she know that these men were black? Did they call and say, hey, I'm a black man and I have an issue with what you've been saying? Like, how can she make that assumption or that identifier of that these were the men that were calling in and saying that they wanted her fired? Where's the where's the proof? Did, did they give you a, a, a over the phone census when they, when they got when they called in? Because she wouldn't have got that call. The other person, I guess, who who uh, that works in the organization, maybe the HR or maybe someone that is uh in that department to keep things confidential, they wouldn't disclose, um, you know, the ethnicity of the people that were calling in. So that was just a red flag. That was just to trigger a response um, and to show that, oh, it's, um, you know, black men against her. I'm not against her. I don't, I don't want her to be somewhere in a, in a point where she can't provide for herself or her family. Just don't have that feeling. I feel like you got to leave a room for grace for everyone. Because I don't wish anyone in, in a situation where they can't uh, be able to eat, be able to have a place to stay. That's just not in me. But on the, on the flip side, she has to understand that the statements that you make, the things that you say, are going to have some consequences. And moving forward, she can either look at this as a teachable moment or look at it like, I'm still going to be the way that I want to be. If you're going to have that mindset, you're going to probably have to start your own practice um, but it's still going to affect you from a clientele uh, standpoint because people in the medical professions live off of reviews. And I close by saying if you go on Grow Well Cleveland LLC, they have a 2.5 uh, rating right now. And I looked at the comments and it's a few comments on there uh, that are agreeing with uh, the firing of Shabri Rawls or it's people that are giving the uh, Grow Well Cleveland LLC a low rating. Uh, because they, they decided to part ways with her. So that, that is what's going on right now. Uh, we'll see what Shabby Ross has to say after all of this. Uh, but she's still playing the blame game and putting this on black men. And I don't think that's uh, the way to go. Accountability is everything. You gotta look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, what did I do to get myself in this situation?